Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. In this video, I will walk you through inviting your users into ClickSense Business. I'm already logged into my tenant, so from here I can either click on this green Invite Users button or go up to my badge here in the top right hand corner and click on Invite Users. Either way, a window is going to pop up where I can go ahead and type in the email addresses or copy and paste if you have a list. To add more than one email address, you'll want to use a comma to separate the email addresses. And then if you click off into a white space, the green send invitation button will appear and you can click on that. And then you'll get a message saying that the invitation has been sent. You'll have the option to manage your invites or invite more users, or you can go ahead and click on done. So while we wait for that user to accept the invitation, I do want to show you where you can go to manage your users. So you're going to go up here to the top right hand corner, go to your badge, and then go to administration. You'll see that it says that we have an invited user. Um, it does give the email address so you know who you're waiting on. And then it does have an expiration date as well for that invitation. Your users will receive an email that looks like this that's saying that they're invited and they're thrilled to have them on board. All they'll have to do is click on get started and then it'll ask them to create an account if they don't have one or log into their current account if they do have one. Once the user has accepted the invitation, if we go check our list of users, the name that they signed up with will come through and you can see that the invitation expiry date has been removed and our status is set to active. So now let's verify the type of license that has been assigned to the user. So we'll go here to the left hand side to user allocation and then we'll click on assigned users. So here you see we have our two users, Leslie and Jamie. Um, both have professional licenses. I only have the option for a professional license, but I will show you how to remove an assignment and add an assignment. Say you needed to give one of your users an analyzer license versus a professional. So you would just click on the user here, click remove assignment, and it's gonna ask you to confirm that you want to remove the license for the selected user. Go ahead and say delete. And then you can click on add assignment. And then you can search for that name. I only have one user in my directory, so it automatically pulls it up. And then it's kind of grayed out, but if you click on this drop down right here, you'll have your options for either professional or analyzer based on what kind of license you have. So I'll go ahead and click on professional. The green button will illuminate, so I can go ahead and click on add. It also gives me a count of how many licenses I have available. So I'll go ahead and click close again and I can see in my list now Jamie is back in the list and has a professional license. And I hope this video helped. If you'd like more information, search for answers using the unified search tool on the Click Support portal. It searches across the support knowledge base, click community, click help site, and click YouTube channels. Take advantage of the expertise of peers, product experts, and technical support engineers by asking a question in a Click product form on the Click community. And don't forget to subscribe to the Support Updates blog. Thanks for watching. Nailed it!